Today we want to take you somewhere special, somewhere we discovered recently, which is very nice. Our Thank Us With Coffee and Cake campaign has been going on for a while now, so today we are going to indulge in coffees and cakes. So come with us. Down this tree-lined avenue. Away we go. And honestly, we don't know how we didn't know about this sooner. So welcome to the new Manorom Cafe. It's actually not new, it's been here for a year, right? and it is beautiful. We discovered this last week and we thought we'd come back with the camera and show the world because it's lovely. Just look at that majestic tree. Did you choose your cake of the day? I did. What'd you get? You have to wait and see. Mm, surprise cake. There's a little boat dock, so some people arrive by boat. Come up this beautiful path. This one existed until last week. Just saw it on Google Maps and turned up and was like, wow, have to get food here. And the food was amazing, wasn't it? Duck salad was amazing. Now we're going to try the cakes for the first time. So hopefully that will live up to it. And the signature drink too. So Sasha's surprise cake was the red velvet. She's never tried that. And the coffees of the day, Manorom signature. And what's yours? Coffee almond frappe. Is it long frappe? It depends. Here. Yeah. I've always said frappe. In Thailand it's frappe, but we say frappe, don't we? So when in Thailand you say frappe. Crepe Suzette, Cafe Manorom style. Wow. Your dessert arrived, Jay. I'm aware. We're going to finish it all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Filming for episode 24 is still continuing. Brought the big camera and dolly rail to get some shots. I need to get my arse into gear because it's halfway through the month now, 15th, and I haven't filmed enough shots for the episode. So, today we decided to combine the two things, coffee and cake, and filming. Look how pretty everything looks. It's moments like these that make me think I'm happy with the choices I've made in my life. While the sunlight is nice and strong, we're gonna try and get some shots for the episode next to this big tree. I need to get one static shot of me and you in the car together, which should be nice. And a couple of emotional slow motion scenes as well, so let's do it while the light looks good. So that is a super nice cafe. I'm so impressed. We keep finding these little gems everywhere. And this one is particularly good. Cafe's right on the river as well, it's really pretty and surrounded by all these lovely trees. I love finding places like this. We'll definitely be back here. Good place to bring visitors as well because I doubt they'll expect it from Chiang Rai. We didn't realise things like this would be here so it's very nice. Bird! Love the sound of that bird. If anyone knows what that bird is, please let me know because I've googled extensively to try and find it and I cannot find it and I've never seen it either. Yeah. Despite looking like crazy. Almost three years, still don't know what that bird looks like. Ooh! <laughs> How can you not feel happy when you feel when you're surrounded by stuff like this, eh? Especially after a nice slab of red velvet cake. <laughs> <laughs> and Glibs Z. Ooh, Glibs Z. Right, let's go. Bye cafe. Until next time. Welcome to Wat Hui Plakan. This is a Chinese temple on the other side of town. It's nine tiers. We have come up here today to film more hyperlapses for the episode. So that's what Jay's up to right now. We've got the big boy hyperlapse rail set up. 
the digi slider. Jay's going to do one hyperlapse standing statically here and then when that finishes he's going to do a circle all around the temple which by my estimation will take quite a while it's a rather large circle that he's got to do so I reckon about an hour. This whole hyperlapse thing is a bit of an experiment for me I'm not sure exactly how it's going to turn out. The idea is to start the hyperlapse on the rail fairly slowly and then to increase the intervals and then by the time it gets to the end of the rail I walk around the whole building so it looks like it's gone slow, ramps up faster and then super speed all the way around. That's the plan anyway, I'm not sure if it's going to work. You should be able to find out at the end of the month when I publish the episode so let's hope. I'm on a flag counting mission. I've been sent to circle the temple to count how many flags there are so we can work out how many frames we're going to get. So off I go. So I've encountered a flag issue. They have stopped and I'm only halfway round. There's these sections of bells so I think I'll count bells now instead. 51, 52. Okay this was a pretty rubbish mission because now the bells have stopped. Now I have to count flowers. Right back from my mission. Was, wasn't very good to be honest but there's about 78 markers so hopefully that will give us some idea of how many shots we can get. Found a bit of shade to sit in while the hyperlapse is still lapsing. Bex! <laughs> My brother and sister-in-law have a German Shepherd called Bex. This looks like a Thai Bex. <laughs> and Thai Bex's friend. Hello! Hello! Look like they're both keeping watch, the temple guards. So I'm on the first tier of the temple now. I haven't gone inside yet, this is just the outer ring. This is what the inside looks like. looking stairs. <laughs> this is the final level. Now to go back down these stairs. Okay, back outside now. Now to find my shoes. Okay, shoes found. Now to find Jay. Found him. Still hyperlapsing. Got it done in the end. It took ages and I got very sweaty. But I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. We'll see when I put it all together. Eating some ice cream, then going to go to the next place. My estimations were correct. It did take a while. It took an hour and a half. An hour and a half of hyperlapsing. <laughs> Yodeling at the temple. <laughs> so we've been really busy this month with all this filming that we're doing. All that coffee is really helping to keep us going, so thanks for that. As you can tell, we're pretty happy with our Thailand coffees and we would like to know where's your best cup of coffee that you've ever had in the world? Let us know. And a big thanks to everyone for liking our videos and keeping those comments coming. We're really enjoying reading them all. Keep an eye out for Tuesday's video and we'll see you next time.